Public relations is a real sort of benign sounding term to describe propaganda. Propaganda is conducted as a multi-billion dollar business. No one's ever heard of these major PR firms like Burson Marsteller, Edelman, Hill and Knowlton. These are giant companies owned by even bigger advertising firms. No one's ever heard of them. But these advertising and PR firms, of course, touch our lives every day through all these sophisticated messages. They like to stay behind the scenes and they don't want the light shown on them. What we do at PR Watch is we try to shine the light on them and explain how they work in manipulating news information and public opinion. On the opposite side of every single issue are these multi-million dollar PR campaigns, propaganda campaigns that involve intelligence gathering, message development, use of third party independent experts as spokespeople, media manipulation, perception management. Just close your eyes and take long, deep breaths. Public relations works by putting its message in the mouths of people we trust. It might be Tom Brokaw, it might be some expert that Dan Rather has on the evening news. And the dirty little secret is that on any given day, 40, 50, 60 percent or more of what we see here and read as news is in fact public relations. The big corporate media gladly cooperates with its advertisers, the milk industry, the food industry, the biotech industry. Why? Because billions and billions and billions of dollars that flow from corporations into the media as advertising is what makes the media so profitable. Candidates, toothpaste, genetically engineered food are all sold to us in the same way through advertising and PR campaigns. So the best propaganda is invisible, the best public relations is invisible. And as Alex Carey pointed out in his book, Taking the Risk Out of Democracy, public relations is how propaganda is waged in countries like the United States.